Hi honeys, it's Michelle. I'm here today to do a Dollar Tree haul. I found a lot of new things today and I also found some oldies but goodies. I got both of these. These are Hallmark Expressions cards that are blank inside. On the back, the price is listed at $3.89. They're obviously a dollar each at the Dollar Tree. And this is a set of six note cards and envelopes to go with them. I got these for my friend mail. And it says on the back, oh, this is kind of nice. These are made in the USA in Kansas City, Missouri. I had previously got one of these at a Dollar Tree in California. Um, I can't remember what color I got. I don't think I got purple, but I wanted to get another pack since they have them in stock here as well now. I love this lavender color. You can never have enough note pads, right? <laughs> and then I had bought one of these for Brad. I wanted to get one for myself too. These are those um, those chill, chill wraps that you can put around your, your neck to, to cool off. And I've been looking for a couple Christmas books. I found another one today. I found this one. Shakespeare's Christmas by Charlene Harris. I think this is the lady that wrote the True Blood books, which I really liked the TV show, but not the books, which is kind of backwards for me. Usually I like the book and not the show or the movie. But I decided to go ahead and give her Christmas book a chance. It says... Charlene Harris's unique spin on the traditional cozy adds a touch of noir to this typical charming southern town and a dark past to her heroine, cleaning woman and karate expert Lily Bard. Seventeen Magazine says Lily is cool. In Shakespeare's Christmas, the third in this beloved series, Lily Goes Home, always an uncomfortable scenario for the introverted Lily, for her sister's Christmas wedding. A four-year-old unsolved kidnapping resurfaces to push Lily to an act once again as amateur sleuth to protect her sister, whose new husband is the widowed father of a girl bearing a remarkable resemblance to the vanished child. And this, the MSRP is $17.99. The copyright is 1998. Huh. Okay, yeah, it does say in the back that this is the author that wrote the Sookie Stackhouse True Blood series. Sookie. 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 <laughs> Brad's doing his best Bill impression in the other room. Um, and then uh, this book is 214 pages long. So that should be a fun read. And then speaking of Christmas, I found some of these little ceramic painting sets that I love so much. I found a Christmas tree and a little penguin and they had what did they have they had a snowman and a Santa Claus but I didn't like those ones as much they had um, over on the sides you could see the ridges from the the plate they had been set in when they were being made and it just looked really sloppy to me so I didn't care for those ones as much but but these two I thought looked really nice <laughs> And then I found these two little paint your own ornaments. And I just thought these were too cute. They remind me of ornaments from when I was a little girl. So 80s looking, right? So that'll be fun. I just need to get some more paint though. I don't usually use these paints. I use, you know, the bigger acrylic paints that, um, that you can get. And I usually don't use these brushes either. Um, but I'll keep the brushes and probably use them for cleaning things.
I like to dip them in rubbing alcohol and sometimes like if I get um, a, a figurine or, or something with a lot of detail on it when I'm thrift shopping I can get in the little nooks and crannies with those little brushes I can also clean my keyboard with them and if I leave them dry I can also um, dust these kinds of figurines back here oh <laughs> I was like what's this is catnip <laughs> get out of the way here Well, I guess this is a good time to tell you, speaking of cats and catnip, they have these little guys here now. These little track toys for cats. We used to have some of these um, in Florida and Marty really liked them. So I, I thought, well, geez, for a dollar, because they're usually not cheap at all. So I thought I'd go ahead and get him one. And it's nice they even have these little rubber no slip grip pads on the bottom. They also had ones that were pink and I can't remember the other color it was pink and something but I wanted to get this color because I thought it was nice yeah next Friday I'm going to be doing a Halloween DIY Dollar Tree video and then a little bit of reviews at the end of the video and I saw something on Instagram that I thought was so cute. I had to make it. I don't know if I got the right supplies, but I think I can make it work with what I got. Here's a picture of what I saw on Instagram and also the lady um, who posted it, her tag, in case you want to check her Instagram page out. This is the bin that I found, the one that she used in this picture, I, I couldn't find. And if I had known that I was going to be doing this, I would have bought the correct bin a couple weeks ago when I saw it, but now there's only two of these left. So I, anyway, I got this and I got some foam to put down at the bottom just to add a little extra height to it. And then I got a pack of cotton balls. Now in the picture, it looked like all three of the bubbles were the same size, but I wanted to break it up a little bit. So I got one of the larger ones and then for a dollar, they had a pack of two. So I got two more that'll be a little bit smaller. And then I got my skeleton. Now they had two different ones. They had the kind of off white colored ones with the dark edges on them that look like bones and then they had this one that glows in the dark which is just a little more my style <laughs> and then I found this little scrunchie here I'm not sure what she used in the the hair on on hers but I thought that'd be cute to put on uh, the skeleton's head so we'll be putting all that together on Friday and then also Ooh, I'm trying to remember when it was weeks ago or maybe even months ago I got some yarn and some things to make some garland with for Halloween so I'm going to be putting that together as well so that'll be really fun if you're a DIY fan definitely tune in on Friday I got one of these for Brad a while ago and he really likes it I also got the one that smells like Dracar this one smells like cool water which I'm a big fan of. So I went ahead and got this for him today. I don't usually see these, but when I do, now that I know he likes them, I want to pick them up. Um, and this was made in United Arab Emirates. And then they had this one, which I didn't see last time. This one is supposed to smell like Sauvage by Christian Dior. So I wanted to get this for him as well. I what it smells like. Oh, that smells good. Nice masculine scent. This is a repurchase for me. These Huggies Natural Care Sensitive Wipes that are fragrance free. I really like using these um, in the bathroom. 
And it says plant-based ingredients with 99% purified water. So I feel like this is a little bit better uh, for me than some of the other ones. I used to make my own wipes, but I'm not sure what, but something in there was irritating my skin. So I don't use those anymore, unfortunately. I wish they had worked out. I also got this fan today. I love fans. I just think they're beautiful. I love green. It's my favorite color. I like sequins. How pretty is that, right? <laughs> and when I'm getting ready, if I put makeup on, after I spray my setting spray, I like to use a fan to dry everything off. So I thought this would just be really nice. So pretty, right? We use this religiously in our master bathroom. Um, it's pears. So we really love this and we're almost out of the one that we have. I do have an extra one, but I want to get this as well. Um, I'm kind of trying to get a little bit prepared just in case, you know, there's another lockdown or something that comes up in the fall or winter. So I just want to be extra prepared for everything. Um, some people find the scent of this off pudding. Um, it smells like ginger ale, but we really like it though. It gets, it gets the hands just nice and clean. So some more of these close up tooth floss pick thingies. <laughs> I really like these. I think they're very important to gum health. I found this cute little magnet. Good meowing. <laughs> it's so cute, right? With a little cat mug. So I had to get that to put with my magnets. These are really hard to come by. So I wanted to go ahead and pick one up uh, for my next giveaway. I have one. I love these. I just think they're the greatest. And this is Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. It's a three-in-one treatment by Skin Nutritions. It's got peptides, vitamins, and green tea extract in it. And I love this stuff. I like to use it at night before I go to bed. It's just nice and cooling. I don't want to open it because, you know, I'm giving it away. But it's um, it's got like a, a metal tip on it. And it just feels so nice and cooling with the gel at night before you go to bed. So... I'll be putting that in a future giveaway. I have this weird thing when I'm in the shower. Do you do this? Tell me if you do this. I have a couple different sets of um, body oil or shower gel and um, shampoo and conditioner that have kind of a similar smell. And then when I get out of the shower, I'll use um, a lotion that smells like that too. So it's just kind of a everything matches. And I've got three different ones I usually use. I'll usually have a floral one, a fruity one, and then like an almond one. I don't know. It's just how I am. <laughs> and the almond one, I'll use all, anything that smells like almond, honey, or cocoa butter. Those all kind of blend together really well. But I'm out of my shampoo that I've been using for quite a while in my little combination. And uh, so I found this today and I thought, well, this would be really nice. Now, I didn't get a chance to smell it. Hopefully, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Um, I got the Pantene Gold Series. They have sulfate-free shampoo infused with argan oil. And this is sulfate, paraben, and silicone-free. And then they have Moisture Boost Conditioner that goes with it. And then Leave-On Detangling Milk. So that should match my little almond honey stuff that I already have in the shower. Um, and then, I, but I the problem I keep finding with this little trio that I use in the shower too is I don't have any lotion that matches that smell and so I found this this Dermacil brand that I like so much they have a cocoa butter so I'm going to try this and see how that works but it should all work together really well I think let's see that smells nice 
And this is paraben free. And I just put some on my hand just to see how it feels, how it smells. It feels nice and thick, just like the other one, but it does have a nice cocoa butter scent to it. I love the smell of cocoa butter and so does Brad. So this will be really nice to, to have in my bathroom. And then everything else I have is food related. And I'm really excited about what I found today. It's just a nice mixture of things. <laughs> I use these all the time. So no surprise, I got another pack of these. These are made in the US. It's a sleeve of four or four sleeves of saltines. I think these just taste really good and they're so much more affordable than what you'd find at the grocery store. And one thing I'm really trying to avoid, not that I avoid it all the time, but for the most part is corn syrup, um, especially in things I make at home. Um, I understand it's in candy and that kind of stuff, but I, I don't want it in everything, right? This doesn't have corn syrup in it. And so that's really appealing too, because you'd be surprised there's corn syrup in a lot of saltine crackers. I don't know why, but there is. Now I take this medication at night and it makes me nauseous. And that's why I take it at night. I don't want to get nauseous right before I start work in the morning. So what I usually do is about 20 minutes after I take my medication, I'll have some saltine crackers and just a little bit of cheese. And then I like to have um, a pickle also. And it's just a nice combination. My stomach seems to really like it. And one of the, the pickles that I try or that I'll have is um, these Breckenridge Farms uh, kosher spears. These are um, Greenbrier brand, which is the Dollar Tree brand. Uh, these are made in India. And I don't have a problem with the ingredients. So I also have come across pickles that have corn syrup in them. <laughs> so I don't know why. But anyway, I do really like the pickles that they have at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm going to be making the gnocchi soon that I got a couple weeks ago and I realized I'm out of the sauce that I love at the Dollar Tree, which is, um, it's, it's Hunt's garlic and herb. And I just, I mean, to be really honest, I add more garlic and more herbs to it, but I think it's so delicious. I love this stuff. Now this is a little bit too much sauce for the gnocchi. So what I do is I just set it aside and if we're having, um, Texas toast with it or something, I'll dip the toast in the sauce. And if we're not having anything like that with it, if we're having salad or something else, then I just freeze the rest of it. It's no big deal. I can always use it later. Oh, it's got a recipe for pasta fagioli on the back, or fagiole, I think that's how they say it, but yummy. And this is made in Illinois. I got the ingredients to make pizza at the grocery store and got home and realized I forgot to get pizza sauce. I was just going to make my own, but um, I found they had this pantry essentials one. And this is this expires June 30th of 2022. So if I like this, I'll go pick up some more of these. This is actually made by Lucerne Foods in California. So that's good to know. And then I got Hanover Brown Sugar Baked Beans. Best by February of 2023. Let's see. Made in the USA. And I just got these for myself. If I'm having a regularity problem, um, we're all human here, right? We all have bodies that do the same functions. If I'm having a regularity problem, this is one of the things I will try. And so that's why I got it. Brad's actually not a bean person. I don't know, <laughs> but he's not. 
Um, I also got some Kendale Farm Natural Beef Flavored Broth. I really like this stuff. I think it tastes wonderful. And I'm really happy about the price. So this expires October of October 13th of 2021. Okay, I like to drink a lot of orange juice, um, especially my vitamin D that I take in the morning. I'm supposed to take it with orange juice. And when Brad and I are on the road together, it's not always easy to find orange juice. And when I do, a lot of times it's the stuff that I wouldn't normally drink. Like it's not 100% juice and it's not really something that I think is that healthy. But I found this today, tangerine orange juicy juice. And this is 100% juice. So I can just put two of these in a um, travel you know cup or something and and drink the, this in the morning so I think that that's really nice I got two of these and I was just really excited because juicy juice is one of the brands that I really like um, and these don't expire until June 5th of 2021 now they didn't just have this one they had I think it was fruit punch also so if you're interested in getting something a little bit more natural for yourself or your kids to drink, you might want to go to the Dollar Tree and, and get some of these before they're gone. All right, I went ahead and got these uh, Cambridge and Thames cookies for Brad. He loves these. These are his favorite. Um, and these expire April of 2022. These are made in India. These are those Danish style butter cookies. They're really good. <laughs> All right, we got some more snacks here. Nothing else here is gonna be healthy. Um, lemon cream cookies by Lil Dutch Made. That's the same brand as the um, saltines that I got. And these are also made in the USA. Huh. These have corn syrup, but it says it's two percent or less. It's one of the ingredients further down. So that's that's nice. At least it's not the so many of these things, it's the first or second ingredient. Huh. All right, and these expire April 30th of 2021. I got some Kit Kat miniatures. These expire in August of 2021. I also got some Twix miniatures and these expire um, April of 2021. And then we like to eat these when we watch movies. I got some Swedish fish assorted And these are April 10th of 2021. And then the last thing I got, I got some chicken ramen. We ate so much ramen the first year of our marriage. <laughs> and we both ate it a lot when we were in college. So it just, it's one of those things that's a nice comfort food with like a grilled cheese sandwich when we feel like we need a little bit of comfort in our lives. And so that's what this is for. That is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree today. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you did what you thought. I can't wait to hear your input. And let me know even if you didn't like them. You don't have to love something to tell me what you thought. I just wanted, I just would like to know. <laughs> All right, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.